Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. In the last episode, I was just about to go to prison, and uh, a zombie stepped in the middle of the road, got into a car crash, I had to kill a couple zombies, and we are here. We found Clementine in the house, or actually she was in the treehouse, and now we're going to get out of here, hopefully, if I can walk. I can't really walk. Kind of broke my leg. Not really broke, but it's cut up. Doesn't look too good. Now we're getting out of here. Who are these people? Uh, uh, oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Let's see if these guys can help me. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you. I won't leave you, though. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? Yeah. That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah, I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Yeah. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. I'm Lee. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safe. Do I trust these people? I'm not a dad. Um. Uh, I'm a babysitter. A babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get. I going. just lied to him. Staying put for too long is a mistake. I don't want to do. I'm just a guy. What do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. All right. What do you want me to do? I'll oh, push. I'll push the car for you guys. What's the other guy doing? He's not doing anything. He's just sitting there. Come on. Go, 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 go. Whoa. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. You too. I don't remember your name, though. <laughs> I'll just wave to you. Thank God you're okay. Who's this guy? I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need some help. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Alright. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen. Oh, hell. yeah. Could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. I'm not gonna lie to him. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. A police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead people walk in. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. I'm We're not gonna, gonna help you. Really? You're gonna I kick me out of your house. Said, okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Poop. Manure. Manure? Manure? Yeah. Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Really far. far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Who's this guy? Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. Who's we're that? We're drunk during everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. All right. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Duck? Yeah. Really? <laughs> you gonna name him. your son like Duck? Water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Wow. Dad! 
But he makes up for you it just called your son answers. dumb. Wow, what a good father you are, Kenny. Is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Uh, let's talk to her, see how she's you doing. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. Let's head over to Kenny. I think he's over here. Yep. What's going on, Kenny? Hey there, uh, Kenny. What's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Seems like a good plan. Need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. All right. Do you need any help? No. What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? How's your son doing? Your stupid son. Good, I think. Kasha's I can't believe you said that. Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Should I talk to this lady? Nah. Oh, can we go in the house? Oh, there's a, wow. It's a lot more over here. Let's go talk to Doc. See how he's doing. Come on. There we go. How you doing, Doc? How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. What's going on, Sean? Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Yeah, sure. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. 
Maybe. Yeah, right. Maybe if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not too close to my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. I'll go help him, I guess. I don't know why I'm helping everybody, because they're just going to kick me out. Is it over here? Yeah, there we go. How you doing, sir? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out. Way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Yeah. Was brought up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife anymore. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked, and she came to my rescue. I was being attacked, and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I really don't want to hear it, but whatever. I don't know what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What did I do? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? Go! I'll get my gun! That doesn't sound good. Duck, what are you doing? Why'd you run him over? Um, uh, uh, who do I save? I'll save this guy. Oh, I'm, okay, uh, here we go. Sean, I'm helping you. I don't want to save the kid, he's stupid. <laughs> That's what his father said. Kenny, help me. Kenny, what are you doing? Okay, uh, push, Kenny, Kenny's just going to leave, no, 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 I'm going to blame this on Doc, yep, and Kenny. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost I think Kenny was right, though. Duck is pretty finished. stupid. He ran Sean over and got him killed. And then Kenny just ran away. I know, son. I... Damn. Oh, Kenny's coming back now? Kenny, just just leave. What are you doing? Get 
shit out. Get the fuck out of here! Well, he's mad. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. It's Kenny's fault. If Kenny had helped, I'm blaming it on him. <laughs> be alive. And that's why I wish you were dead for the rest of my life. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Come on, Kenny. Why would you do that? You've got that ride to make it if you want it. 